today I'm going to try this R language for statistical computing. It sounds like almost like a language for pirate computing. R. Uh, I've been watching on Khan Academy uh, math vi vi videos, and here in the math section there is a statistics section, and for instance. If you watch this uh, sampling distribution example problem, here's an interesting example. An average male drinks two liters. Uh, you should probably watch some of the previous videos first on this Khan Academy to understand this. Uh, popu this is the population, and this is a sample, and this is the distribution of the population, this is the distribu distribution of the samples. If you take multiple samples, from the population, you get a you get a sample distribution, and he solves this problem here. The average male drinks two liters of water, so the population mean is two liters, and the standard deviation is zero point seven liters. Uh, and uh, planning a full day nature trip for fifty men, that means the sample is fifty, and will bring one hundred and ten liters of water. So the the sample size is 50, and the sample is 110 divided by 50, which is 2.2. Uh, Here, he has it, 2.2. So you can watch this video to see how he solves it, and you, and, uh, you should probably do that first. But now I'm going to, to solve this sa the same problem uh, in using R. Here. Uh, start R like that. There, there are also GUIs, but I'm only using the command line now. So what was the population mean? It was 2 liters. And the population standard deviation was 0 0.7 liters. So I just assign variables here. I can watch them. So, and uh, if I want to draw a, nor a normal distribution, I can first if I say this variable L uh, is just a sequence of what does he has from zero up and here's two in the middle and then maybe four here to from zero to four and go by well take small steps zero point point zero one liters steps so then L here is just from zero all the way up to four. And on the this is this axis L, and on this axis is probability. I just call it P. P goes to uh, what the normal distribution. This is actually maybe not the normal distribution, but I'm gonna approximate as a normal distribution from L. And what the mean was pop mean, we have it in the variable, and the standard deviation was pop sd, like that. Now I can plot it. Plot uh, L and P. So here comes the plot. And I can make it bigger like that. And it's just dots. Uh, for every 0 0.01 liter here. If I want to draw it by line, I can change the type. Type equals to L for a line. So then it's line instead. So here I have a nice line, 2 liters in the mean. And the standard deviation is 0 0.7. You don't, you don't actually see the standard deviation in this plot. Okay, so what's next? Uh, if we go to the video here, this this was the population distribution, and the sample distribution has a smaller standard deviation, and the standard deviation here is actually uh, here, the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of samples. So we can calculate that. What shall I call it? The <laughs> sample standard deviation, SST. Uh, what did I say? It was the population standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Did, no, I have to assign n first. n was 50. 
I could just r write 1570. SSD 0 0.09899. And that's actually the same here you got here. You round it to 0 0.099. So I can make a new plot now. If I go up a bit. Instead of population standard deviation, I can use the sample standard deviation and then plot again. Where is the plot here? So the standard deviation is much smaller. Oh, what? We had 110 men and 50, 50 men, 110 liters. So 2.2 on average. So it's somewhere here in the plot. So we want to calculate the probability of running out of water, then we have to use more than 2.2 liters per man. So that's the area under the curve here. So uh, in uh, R you have a function that's called P norm to calculate the area under the normal distribution from zero up uh, for negative infinity up to the number. So I can cal actually calculate from negative infinity up to 2.2 with a P norm. Here. So I P norm, what did I say? 2.2 and the standard deviation was SSD and the mean are the same as population mean. So there it is. So that is the area. It's a 97.8% chance to have to be to the left of 2.2 liters. So to run out of water, it's one minus that. One minus that. So the probability is 2.167. You can round it to 2.7%. And let's see if the same answer as he got. The uh, see, go to the, the end. Point zero two. It was, so you go for the first digit, we go to two point, are less than we are less than uh, he got no, 0 0.9783. That value over here. So to answer That's the our same. Question, to as we got this probability, we just have there. to subtract this from one because these will all add up to one. So yeah. just take and it, it, he takes one minus this and get 2.70. Minus one minus 0.9783 is equal to 0 0.0217. Yeah. So this right here is 0 0.0217 or a and that's it that's how you do it in r